Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. My second upload today. Pretty much a Newcastle YouTuber, new on the scene, made a video about me yesterday. Now, I wasn't going to react to this at first, but I had a watch through the video and I found a lot of it quite hilarious, to be honest. And I do actually feel like quite a bit this does relate to my channel as a whole. So it's a good opportunity for me to kind of explain some things. First off, I'm not going to promote this guy's channel in any way. I'm not going to tell you who he is, put his link in, anything like that, because I do think that he is trying to ride off my name. And also, I don't want you guys to go around hating. That's not the point of this video. I'm not here to try and destroy someone's career. I'm just here because well, I want to defend myself. Really, this guy's put some pretty big accusations in, a lot of slagging off towards us. And yeah, I didn't like some of the comments, I'll be brutally honest. But anyway, guys, as always, you're new to the channel. Make sure to head down there, hit that subscribe button. Smash like what you enjoy and let me know your thoughts down below. Question of the day, do you think I'm a stalker? There's a question for you. The cat moves, so I'm going to change location now, a bit easier for me. There were two big events on Monday, that's the context of this video. The first one being at St James's Park, where Adam Shearer's statue moves, so I've got the vlog for that on the channel. Uh, pretty much, long story short, I'm actually on the Newcastle Twitter account, because uh, Serena took a picture, I'm kind of in the background my phone out. So a lot of people reacted, like even Will and E got involved. Will and E follows me on Twitter, I never thought I'd be saying that. That was a proper fanboy moment for me there, so thank you so much, Will. Uh, the point I'm making here is that it got a lot of attention and later on in the day there was a leaked picture with Lucas Paqueta wearing the Newcastle top in Bruno's back garden. Obviously, yeah, taking picture on someone's back garden is bad, like, it's a definite invasion of privacy. And uh, everyone obviously was saying it to me because that's the joke, I'm always everywhere, that's the point in there. A lot of people on social media just, as always, just have a laugh. I don't mind the majority of the time. But in some situations like this one, uh, people will take it a bit too far and outright accuse me of stuff or say that I actually was there when I clearly wasn't. So that's all the context there. Sorry, that was quite a lot to go through. But anyway, let's find out what this guy says in his intro about me. But enough of that. Let's get into the topic today, which is privacy. And people like Adam Pearce and, and he's, I'm not singling them out, by the way, there's, there's a few of them. Off to a flying start here. Spoiler alert, by the way, he doesn't mention any of our names in this video. It's just Adam Pierce that he mentions, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not being singled out, okay? Let's find out what he has to say next. Um, it's a negative sort of thing. You, you don't want to see your player in another city wearing that, that city's football shirt. Imagine if we seen Cal Callum Wilson getting photographed down in London with his mates wearing a, an Arsenal top or something. I don't think we'd be very happy and I don't think the club would be very happy. So it's things like this. I'm not saying Adam Pearson took that picture. I'm just saying in general, this sort of breach of privacy and waiting outside the training ground every day. Oh, there it is. I was waiting. It took a little while to come out, but I was at the training ground every day. That's when I hear quite a bit. Okay, I've never actually told anyone on my channel this before. I've never said this in any of my YouTube videos, but the cast and I have no problem with me going to the training ground at all. Uh, I told my attention to the summer transfer window and the club generally doesn't mind. Now, there's little bits that Eddie Howe himself doesn't want anyone at the club to record. That includes the media team, me, Sky Sports, the Chronicle, whoever it may be. There's certain parts that the manager doesn't want recorded. But overall, at the training ground, outside the training ground, they have no problem with me being there. And it's also public land. If you go to the training ground, you know it's just in between public area. It's when you go through those gates at the training ground that it's the club's land. And at that point, anyway, I will be trespassing. So we've got a lot of problems there before I even start the record. So, yeah, the point I'm making here is that they don't mind me being at the training ground. They have no problem with me doing that. And over the summer transfer window, yes, I'm going to be there for all the signs. Of course I am. So when signs are coming into the training ground a couple of days before they get announced, it builds up the tension, it builds up talk. And when people see it, they tweet about it, they make videos about it, whatever it is, it benefits the club because it means more people talk about it and they get, it gets ahead more mainstream media. So when I go to the training ground, when I go and see players at public events, for example, St Maximin at the Metro Centre, there's nothing legally wrong with that. I'm allowed to go there as a fan and that's what I did. I went there as a fan and there's no problem with that. It's when, obviously, you take pictures in people's back gardens and when you knock on people's front doors, which becomes a serious problem. And we'll talk about that in just a little while. But yeah, uh, this, I go to the training ground every day. So what? Who cares? I know we're living a new era now with social media and everyone's a journalist, right? But they're not, are they? Because real journalists are actually employed and have passes and go through the right legislation. 
what is this guy going on about, man? I'm standing outside the training ground. Why would I need a pass? Like, he's acting like I'm at Eddie Howe's press conference or something. I'm not. I'm standing outside the training ground. Why would I need a pass or a legislation or whatever it may be? What's he going on about? Like, I'm actually lost here. Like, what, what, what's happening? Just a, a kid picking up a, a camera phone and just heading wherever he wants and filming stuff and taking pictures. You're not a journalist. And there's a lot of people that say, oh, his work rate's unmatched. His work rate's unmatched, though. It's not. It's not unmatched. I'll tell you what's unmatched. When I was his age, I was working in an engineering shop doing 20-hour shifts every day. That's work rate unmatched. A proper job. Not hanging around St. James's Park with a camera phone. <laughs> oh, it's a knee slap on that one. Where do I even begin with this? First off, what if I ever said I'm a journalist? I'm clearly not a journalist. A proper job... I mean, in my opinion, there's no such thing as a proper job. The point of a job is to make money, which I do, so, I mean, how is it not a job? Furthermore, I mean, it's this guy, I mean, come on. Come on, you're joking me, you're pulling my strings, yeah, you can't be serious. You did 20 hours a day in an engineering shop. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I mean, come on, it's no longer the Stone Age. We're in this age now where people can have careers off YouTube, TikTok, whatever it is. They can have careers off their hobbies and that's something that I want to do and what I have done. And for someone to come out and tell me that it's not a proper job and I can't do this and I can't do that, so I don't care what you say. You can say what you want, pal, and enjoy myself. As I said before, the club doesn't have a problem with that and going forward, I will make sure that I don't cause any problems with them. I would do what I'm taught. But yeah, uh, I mean, let's continue with this, shall we? And I think some of the stuff he does is good. I'm not having a pop at the kid. He does... Put a lot of effort into his videos, you know, he travels up and down the country and his support for the club is obviously really big. Come on, don't lie to everyone, cut the crap, stop kissing my ass. You know for a fact what you're doing, you know you're just trying to get out there and just cause some drama because you know it's going to attract more viewers. And to be fair, he got his well done, I did respond to it. But I mean, come on, uh, don't lie to people. But the problem is, I think, there's a lot of young Newcastle fans, right, who are born into let's say, not the best of backgrounds, they haven't got a great education, and they're not the brightest bulbs, put it that way, right? And they see people like Adam Pearce and who they look up to, and they think, oh, he's getting loads of likes for this, like, he's getting loads of likes on social media. I'm going to cut it off just there. You know exactly what's about to happen next. But I just want to quickly talk about what he's been saying about some people watching my videos now. I think he comes across quite bad there. He's out there just calling people stupid now. People come from different backgrounds, not everyone has the luxury of coming from a background where the parents have the best education, where the families don't live in the UK. Whatever it is, not everyone has the background you have and I think to come out and just put people down like that is pretty bad, even though you're not directly targeting anyone. I just think you come across as quite a bad person there. I know you're not, but yeah, I didn't like the way you were talking about people there. We really did feel like you were looking down on people. Let's try and get some pictures. Let's knock on Joe Linton's door with a camera phone. Let's do... Take pictures of Bruno in the back, uh, Bruno and Paquetta in the back garden with Newcastle shirts on, and you know this type of thing. It's completely unacceptable. Now he is correct there, uh, yes, about people obviously knocking on front doors and taking pictures of Bruno's back garden. Yes, that's incorrect. First off, about the Joe Linton one though, nobody went there for publicity. Joe Linton came out in social media and, and said that people knocked on his front door. I'm going to assume they were just some kids that were trying to meet him. That's what I'm going to take away from it. Nobody there leaked any information. Bruno's one, yes, someone was taking a picture, hence why it was all over social media. But the point he's making here is that people are encouraged for my videos to go out and do this stuff. Now, no, 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 don't, don't you dare accuse me of uh, encouraging people to go and misbehave. That's not true at all. I see in a lot of my videos not to do this stuff. Now, it is possible that some people might not hear that and just go out and do it, but you have no evidence to even suggest that they came from my videos or my channel. So don't you dare even accuse me of doing something like that. Yeah, that one quite that one annoyed me quite a bit, to be honest. But going forward, um, I don't want to babysit people, but I will, in future videos, make it clear not to do this stuff for people's houses. I'll make it clear now. I always go to public land where I actually get this sort of stuff with players. I don't go to private property, anything like that. I made it a bit clear on my video. I think that can be a valid point, but you're accusing me of stuff there that's just not true. Got little little scrotes knocking on your door and all that. That's not acceptable at all. And I think people like Adam Pearson are, are sort of promoting this type of activity. I really do. What a load of rubbish that is. Well, by that logic, let's say I'm playing GTA on the Xbox. I rob someone on GTA. You think someone's going to rob someone in real life because they play GTA? I mean, what a load of crap. Well, people are going to go and stand on rooftops because they're watching Adam P YouTube video. I'll do one. No, 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 no. 
again no no i do not promote any of that sort of behavior when if i ever went in someone's rooftop and took a picture of someone's back god it's never happened so how can you say i promote it because he seems to be everywhere he's outside the ground or he's outside the the um training area or you know he's just he always seems to be in and around the players or whatever and it's kind of like He's not doing anything illegal as such or anything like that, but it's it comes across as just stalkerish behaviour. So what's the motive behind this? Why why spend ten minutes in your video slagging me off? What do you get out of this? It doesn't make any sense. You even just admitted yourself that nothing I do is illegal. So I mean, what is the point of this video? And I think, you know, people like Adam, Adam PS and that he's only a young kid. I don't I don't really want to come down on him really hard and have a have a pop at him. Um, he's a, he's a young lad. He's still got a lot to learn in life. I mean, he, he's trying to be nice, he, he's trying to, I don't even know what he's trying to do here, to be honest, but for the fact he's been slagging me off for like six minutes before this point, it just doesn't come down on us, it just it feels like he's honestly slagging me off in this video for the sake of slagging me off. And uh, obviously I'd not be happy with some of the comments he's made. Now, yes, I've made a lot of mistakes, I'll make plenty more, that's life, of course it is, everyone's going to make mistakes, but as I said before, the club has no problem with me being at the training ground and going forward, if the club has a problem with something I'm doing, I'm sure they're going to let me know, of course they will. But yeah, uh, I mean, again, what was the point of this video? But I also think he's got to understand that he's got a lot of young followers, and I think he's got to make it more sort of obvious that a lot of the things um you do when you're in that position you know with the modern age of camera phones and that isn't acceptable uh cheers for that dad i mean why is he acting like my guardian for listen why can you not mind your own business i do something you don't like and yeah you don't have to like me and have an opinion about me but what is the point of this i don't understand what is your end goal from this what do you want me to do going forward do you want me to stop going to the training ground again i'm obviously not going to do that like what do you want me to do that you know Paqueta might be having second thoughts about even coming here after that, to be honest. But I'm getting back, I'm going to go back to work now. I just stopped for a cup of tea and I thought I'd make this quick video. I'm going to finish things off there, guys. I'm not going to grill this guy anymore. As I said before, if you do find these videos, don't send him any hate. It's not the point of this video at all. Obviously, I'm just here to defend myself. I'm going to go back to my stomping grounds at the training ground, as he would say. And I'm going to put my tent outside and I'm going to you know, be there every single day for the rest of the transfer window. I mean... If you're going to slag me off, then chances are, especially in a YouTube video, I'm going to get offended by it. Uh, I think this one in particular, I mean, he's that way saying that people are doing this because of me, which is no, you've got no evidence of that, don't you say that. So yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on it there. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Am I taking things too far? I mean, no. <laughs> I've heard some things in my lifetime. But I, uh, I'm going to get back what I'm doing. I'm heading down to Burnley tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy my train down there. Enjoy my weekend over for the final game of the season. For full house to be completed, that's what I can't wait for. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Take care. I know. See you on the next one.